Brandon Matthews at 18. We talked about his length. Why not try to drive the green? 370 to the front of the green. It's around about 334 to cover the penalty area. Around about 20 yards left of the green. Hold on to your hat, Burko. <laughs> oh, yes! How about that shot by Brandon Matthews? Needed to do something special and drives it to the center of the green, 370 yards. Go home. Get it. I mean, go in. Go in. Fly. Go. Sir. Wow. Hit the green. You. <laughs> that was unbelievable. So. <laughs> Had a pretty interesting back nine. Um, the two holes I made eight and six on, I actually didn't really hit that bad of tee shots. I thought um, the one on 12 was gonna end up just left of the green. Um, I guess it hit some limbs and ended up like, you know, a foot in um, the hazard there, which um, I don't know what kind of grass that is, but I uh, never wanna be in that again. I took, a, I think I took four swings at it and then got it and got it out on the fourth uh, made eight there and then uh, made six on 17 actually hitting a good three wood that I cut over the um, over the water there I thought that was gonna be perfect and um, I get to 18 I needed to go out the green so uh, it was it was a good thing I made double on 17 because if I didn't make double on 17 I probably went a little a little more left there and had you tried that in practice rounds or to figure out if you could do it or what was the kind yeah, of Yeah, not, not, I'm obviously directly at it. That's a little, little, little crazy. But um, yeah, I, I was kind of, we were looking, our line was basically at the, there's some red umbrellas uh, on the clubhouse that, uh, that we saw. So that was kind of our line if, if we had any bit of, of help at all. Had you, in terms of in competition, is there any similar shot you pulled off with that type of carry? Um... Off the top of my head, I can't really think of anything. You got anything? Not this year. He'll yell. He'll yell at me if I if I do it in the wrong situation. So I'm a little bit more tame this year. So I can't think of any recent ones because I get yelled at by my caddy. So, um, but uh, yeah, no, that was fun. It was uh, those are always fun to do. What was the carry? Do you think? Yeah. So we kind of figured it somewhere somewhere around 330 to 340 really um yeah there was a cover number um just short left of that and that cover number where the tee box was today i think was 323 so we just added whatever to that we didn't have an exact number so and even with kind of the sting and missing the cup by one is it so cool to pull off a shot like that when you need to such a well, I mean, yeah, like like I said, if I wasn't in that position, I wouldn't be hitting driver at the green. So, I mean, it's fine. I, I love doing stuff like that. See you guys. Hey, good luck this weekend. That was awesome today. Um, but, um, yeah, no, it's it's fun. I'm Listen, I'm, I've had a long stretch of golf. Uh, missing the cut this week, obviously, you want to play well every week, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, excited to go see Danielle and my dog for a few extra days. I'm sure she's going to be appreciative of that. So, um Get some spend. Uh, I think maybe my 16th night in my bed since May, so that'll be good. And then what was the interaction with a fan before? Oh yeah, yeah, that was it, it. Was funny. Thomas hit his hit his drive um, over, kind of you know, in between the left corner of the water and the green, and the, the guy might have had a couple cocktails. Like, well, that's an aggressive line, and I'm like, you want to see an aggressive line, buddy? I'm about to show you an aggressive line. So that was that was kind of fun. And we'll leave you with kind of what does it mean to you your last you know interview on the as a corn fairy tour member. So what does it mean to you to be a corn fairy tour graduate? And have this experience yeah, I mean I, every single person uh, from top to bottom out here, um, staff, the people, the competitors, everything. I've, I'm beyond grateful of every everybody um, that I've met, and the effort that you guys all put in is is beyond belief. So. Um, you guys deserve everything that you, ever comes to you, and I, uh, I'm looking forward to representing it well. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't know he was on the, you know, he'd played a crazy back nine where he'd made 
a birdie, a quad, a birdie, an eagle, a birdie, a double. And so um, Thomas Dietrich like, takes an aggressive line off 18T, and the guy behind us says, uh, oh, that's an aggressive line. And then Brandon turns to the guy and says, you want to see an aggressive line? Watch this. And, I mean, he just flagged. We, we thought it might go in when it was in the air. And then walking off the tee, he said he needed to make eagle to make the cut. So we were all pulling for him, but that was pretty cool. I said, um, if Fazio did this course right, is that correct? Uh, I was like, I don't think Fazio had this in mind when he designed this, this 18th hole. Is he someone from your team who just has that little extra gear of distance advantage? Uh, no doubt. I mean, it's. I think this is my first time playing with him. And, um, yeah, he can, 